Okay, good one. Good one. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Angler X video. Today's show is a continuation from my last video where we are fishing slack water in between wing dams and finding a multi species bite. My friend Dale and I have now made our way to the lock and dam and are finding a few walleyes eager to bite a jig and plastic or a blade bait. Hey, sir. Nice fish. Seventeen? Almost. We'll call it seventeen. Yeah. Beautiful male. Nice fish, good, man. Good one to eat. You may not have to eat smallmouth after all. Yeah, right. <laughs> right, a smallmouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, it's all of us Looks like the right kind. Oh, it's been a little bit slow, but we moved right up by the dam here. And just picked one off. Nice fish. Got the trough. Sixteen inch here. Sixteen and a half. You on to? Yep. Is he big? He's decent. Oh, my stuff's all tangled up. Dale's hooked up. Oh, is that my glove floating away? I think it is. Is it? Yeah, I get him in here. Okay. Go get my glove. I'll take care of this. In all the excitement of catching fish, my glove somehow made it into the river. It's time to bail and make a recovery before it ends up too far downstream. Fish. Oh, no. It's, it's small. Red horse. One thing that I'm starting to notice is the presence of sucker species can be an indication that you are in the right spot for walleye. It seems that suckers and walleye relate to current seams in a similar manner. There you go. Good one. Fifteen, he'll make her. Over sixteen. Over sixteen. Nice fish. I didn't chase that bait sometimes. Yeah. I mean that bait's moving. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I think it's just they're hanging in the current and they see it going by really fast and they're like, oh, better get it. Right. Yeah. And if they don't. that bait is cooking. It's weird to fish too because it's drifting downstream and then it's like bringing it at me. Mm -hmm. So you Lion's probably got some bow to oh, it. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm passing upstream to give it time to get down here. 
<laughs> yep, there you go. That's a good one. Good one? Hooked up. Good old walleye. Sure. We are using a combination of blade baits and jig and plastic to put fish in the boat. They're slamming. 17 and a quarter, 17 and a half. The area we are fishing cannot be found with electronics. By visually observing the current movements below the dam, we can identify where seams are setting up. Position yourself in the slower moving water adjacent to the fast water. Make casts perpendicular to the flow and methodically hop the jig up off the bottom while allowing the current to sweep your bait downstream. Pay particular attention to your line and watch for movement to stop or to jump slightly, then set the hook. Good walleye. He crushed it, so it's got to be a walleye. Well done, sir. <laughs> Perfect timing. There you go. You got one too? Beautiful walleye. You need help? Mine's about 21. I'll let that fish go. Tail's hooked up, nice fish. Oh, that boy was skin. <laughs> he looks short, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Oh, short. Two. Fourteen. Good job on the net. Oh, man, you just see the tip of that hook. Barely in there. That's our last fish for this video. I hope you enjoyed the footage and maybe even learned something. And until next time, thanks for watching.